Good evening. They were recruited, hired, and now fired on short notice. At least 50 Chilean ST engineering employees on work visas said they were terminated from the company with little explanation. Many had switched careers and uprooted their families because they were under the impression the jobs were long term, but they were fired after only one year. Now they face deportation while working to find new jobs on short notice, and they say the company is not helping. WEAR's Sarah Gale has the story. Blindsided. That was the word these people used to describe the experience they've been through with ST Engineering. It's really uh, hard to, uh, to face uh, some, uh, something like, uh, like that. These former ST Engineering employees tell me that the company advertised in Chile looking for aerospace engineers. They tell me while they did not have formal contracts, everything they were told indicated that they would be applying for a long-term position. There were insinuations that they would be here for um, multiple years, uh, at least three, um, so that it, it was okay for them to bring their families. I spoke with Samuel and Ulysses along with other former employees that tell me they uprooted their families for these jobs. If they had known it was only going to be a year, they would not have made that move. I will don't do that. Even if the hero is more better. Now, each time one of them reached their one year mark, they were told there were problems with their visas and they would be put on an indefinite suspension, getting paid for only the first two weeks. They don't specify what the problem is. Uh, in addition to that, you know, a lot of the promotional material that they published in Chile to recruit them was the idea that these visas were renewable. They tell me many of them plan trips to go back to Chile to fix the issues themselves, and they say the company told them not to, that it would handle it. While suspended, employees say they were not given any information on their visa status or if they'd be able to continue working with the company. These workers deserve some type of severance, um, some type of job placement assistance, uh, because they do have a short period of time to be able to find another worker sponsor or leave the country. Some of them have left. Others, like Samuel and Ulysses, want to stay and continue working. The security, I mean the lifestyle here, uh, the opportunity for my uh, daughter to uh, get a uh, school here is way better than, the, than Chile. But the lack of communication, required documents from the company, and even errors in immigration documents they say only the company can fix are making it even more difficult than it already is. This error caused a red flag in his immigration status, which is preventing him to be employed. We did contact SD Engineering for comment. They emailed that the visas are temporary and not guaranteed for renewal. They claim they have been contacting all the impacted employees and are providing the necessary documents for renewal. Meanwhile, these employees are hoping telling their story will help prevent it from happening to someone else. Sarah Gale, WEAR News. Now, Mayor D.C. Reeves offered his thoughts on his ST Engineering's decision to lay off the workers. He says the company is doing something all other companies do. Reeves believes the company is focused on getting talent where talent is needed. WEAR News asked if the company would do the same thing going forward and put less effort into hiring locally. Reeves believes that is not the case. He points to the company's support of Pensacola State College and their effort to create more local talent. I'm not going to speak for ST, this is my opinion, but I would tell you, I think ST is as motivated, probably more motivated than anyone uh, to be able to have the talent level that they need locally at scale. I don't, I don't think that this is something that we're asking a favor for. I think this is something that they need and, and that they want, and they put up $5 million for that school. I mean, I, you know, I think if you put your money where your mouth is, they're, they're putting up $5 million of scholarships uh, to make that school happen. Pensacola State College and SD Engineering partners to establish an A&P mechanics program. The company also donated a $900,000 aircraft for students to get hands-on maintenance experience.